All right, welcome to Piano Therapy. Today we are learning Nezuko's theme from Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer. If you're feeling the dub, this song is really, really pretty. It's also very, very simple, which makes it really easy to learn and to just really feel out. Uh, I play by memorization. So this is not a how to learn this song. This is just how I learned this song. Um, and I learn it, I learn every song this way. I'm not the best at reading sheet music yet. So the first thing I do is I watch someone play it and I break down their right and their left hand, their melody and their chords. So the first part goes like this. I messed up. Yeah, and I just play that until I have it drilled in my head. And then with the chords, the chords I really try to feel out, especially when I'm, it's a new song. Um, here are the chords. Again. You just play these until you have them, until you have them down. So learning where the chords are gonna go with the melody is something that took me quite a while, but once I understood how to do it, and I don't even know if I really understand how to do it, I just, I listen and I'll play the chords. So like, does it start with the chord? That doesn't sound right. Is it the second note? Nope. How about the third? That sounds really good. And that's kind of how I, I started doing it naturally. It's kind of just feeling it out. I really like to play from the heart and I like to play from emotions. And you just play it until, you know, you feel comfortable with it. When we move on, you want to... So that the next part is just easier and you're not worried about trying to remember the previous part. That being said, the next part goes like this. It's almost similar, uh, but not quite. It's so pretty though. You just do it until you're, you know, you have it down. So the chords are three chords. together. Messed up again. And you know, making mistakes is a part of this. Um, just take your time. It's okay if you mess up like I just did. Um, and you can, something that's fun to know is you can play these anywhere really, but let's see how it sounds. I kind of like that. It's okay, let's go up. Ah, that does sound better. All right, let's play from the beginning. Uh, 
So something I like to do is once I've got gotten two parts down, maybe it's three parts, I will play that until I'm really comfortable. That way, again, uh, when I get to the next part, I'm not worried about remembering the first and second part. I've already spent the time nailing it down so that when I get to this next part, um, I just can do it easier and my brain isn't as foggy. The nice part about this song is the next part is exactly the same as the first one. So. That's the third part. So we're gonna go to the last part. That's a little harsh, but yeah, that's it. So similar to the second, the second section, um, instead of it's. So it's, it's similar, it's close, which makes it a little easier on the brain. Uh, the chords are different. Here we go. Three chords. That's the song. Uh, it's really beautiful. Once you really have it down, and I'm I'm not quite there, you can start to play it, you know, more uniquely, and you can add decoration. You can play it slower. Um, so yeah. This is how I like to play it.